Hello and welcome to Sunday School Online. Now before we get into today's lesson, we're going to pray. So I want you to bow your head and close your eyes. Father God, we come to you today, Lord, just to know more about your wondrous work on earth, Lord, how you created it. Lord, we teach each child to know you as their creator and Lord and friend. We ask of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Last week, we learned about the domestic animals, which were a cat, a dog, a budgie, and a rabbit. And we talked about how some of these animals are like our little bodyguard that guards the house, and we have them as little pets in our house. And we talked about there are more different ones on the earth, like McDonald had a farm and he had all these um, animals on his farm. So all these things God has made, but he has made plenty more that we can enjoy on this earth. But this week, we're going to learn about God made me. Today's scripture is taken from Genesis 1 verses 26 to 28 and I shall read. Then God said, let us make man in our own image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Now, what that scripture is telling us that God made us in the image of a likeness like himself he wants us to have dominion that means we rule over the land that he has made for us so that we can be fruitful fruitful that we can multiply and grow and expand and he made us in the image of him so that we all will look like his children now he, he planted Um, trees with seeds that will multiply and grow more trees so like we he made us so that we will have children and our children will have children so we will multiply and look like him and be like him God made us all different colors different heights different shapes he made us all beautiful in his own image. Now let's have a look at some of the people that are on this earth. There's a lot more, but you know, we're just gonna show a few of them that you will recognize, that you see every day, that you go to school with. You'll see them on the bus, in shopping, on the television. God made beautiful people, all different shades of colors. So let's have a look at some of the pictures of what God has made. Everything is beautiful in its own way Like a starry summer night or a snow-covered winter's day And everybody's beautiful God's heaven, the world's gonna find a way. 
There is none so blind as he who will not see. We must not close our minds. We must let our thoughts be free. So did you see all the different cultures and the different skin tone and the different hair types? Did you see the different cultures in all that? God has made everything beautiful. He has even made us beautiful. So God has made, let's go from the beginning. He has made the sky at night. He has made the stars in the sky, the weather, the rain. Then he made the plants, the fishes, the sea, the birds in the sky. Then he has made, guess who he has made? He's also made me. He has made you and he has made me. How wonderful is our God. We shall praise him all the time because he is faithful and he is wonderful.
now we have come to the end and we shall pray so i'd like you to bow your head and close your eyes as we say our prayer thank you god for making me for making me in the likeness of you lord jesus thank you god that you thought about us in everything that you made on this earth up to the sky at night the sun in the sky the trees the flowers and also me lord you made me and we thank you lord in jesus name amen now here ends today's lesson i hope you enjoyed it i hope you understand how great is our god how he's created things out of nothing and here we are today in the image of his likeness i hope you enjoyed today's lesson so don't forget to put all your info to this email send it to this email and we'll see you next week bye